Magnus is one of the litter we call the Whippities, or I call the Whippities, one of the breeds I've invented. He and his eight siblings came into government kennels when they were five or six weeks old. We ask the adopters to fill in the questionnaire and then we try to recommend to them the dogs that would best suit their situation. These two little six-week-old puppies ended up coming home as our fosters because they're too young to be separated, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And we'll see. Now I have someone who likes to clean my beard. <laughs> limited people, um, we just try to do as much as we can. Cleanliness is a big thing. Obviously then we check every day that no dogs are looking sick or any injuries because we have a few fights and uh, deal with it that way. When they need to go to the vet, they take them out to the vet. It's almost all volunteer run. I like to think of it as a family or a community um, based organisation and we try to involve as many people as possible, not even just for dog walking, but for part of us. Uh, events, fundraising, you know, anything that needs to be done. I come here like three to four times a week, usually during weekdays, because weekdays, that's when they need uh, a lot of help. You have to provide them with enough um, human interactions so they would be easier to rehome in the future. moving ahead in a big way with education because I think that's the only way forward. You can't really achieve anything just by a constant stream of dogs coming in and dogs going out. In positive training, we want the dog to be like, they are, they're willing to join in the training, they get lots of motivations, they get lots of reinforcements. Rather than if you use punishment all the time, the worst thing is if your dog becomes like being fearful, it actually always causes more problems. Don't give up and then give the dog patience so that uh, they can learn what you expect them to do in their daily life. Don't, don't give up the dog. We've rescued and saved about 7,000 dogs. Of course, if you can't adopt, you can foster. That's temporary caring. If you can't foster, you can volunteer. If you can't volunteer, you can donate. Every donation saves a life, basically. We're a totally no-kill organization, which means that once we take a dog in, we're committed to it. So it will stay with us until it finds a home. And that could be a day, and it could be you know five years, six years, whatever it takes.